Hello, I'm Miss Iris from Durham County Library, and today we're going to do Invisible Ink. Have you ever wanted to be a secret decoder? Well, we're going to decode today, and I'm going to tell you some ways that you can write a message, a secret message, and then decode it. Today we're going to use two parts vinegar and one part water as our ink, but you can also use two parts milk, one parts water, you can use two parts lemon juice, one parts water, or you could use two parts baking soda and one parts water. So these are easy, fun things you can do at home. So choose whichever you have at home that's handy and you don't have to go out and buy the ingredients. Okay, so here's my bowl that I'm gonna use. And again, we have one cap full of vinegar. I'm gonna pour it in there. And then we have water here. And we're gonna put maybe about a half a cup. This is from the vinegar top of water. Swish it around a little bit. Then we're gonna have our Q-tip and we're gonna write a secret message. So you just use a plain sheet of white paper like this, with nothing on the front or back. And you can just write a secret message. And I'm gonna write my secret message. And since it's a secret, I can't tell you what it is. You just dip your Q-tip in your solution and write your message. So the Q-tip is just like a pencil or a pen. And you write your secret message. Now once you finish writing your message, you will need to have the message dry. So once you do that, you'll take your secret message and if you want it to dry in two to three hours at home, you just lay it somewhere where it could dry. And even if it would dry even faster, if you maybe put it outside on the porch, on the table or so. If you put it outside, it would probably dry within 30 to, minutes to an hour. But what I, enough, there are three different ways that you can have your message dry before you read it. One way is just letting it dry on its own. No, you just let it dry on its own. But to, before you, when it dries to read it, there are three different ways that you can make the message appear. One way is using a hairdryer. You need something hot or warm. So you can just take a hairdryer and just keep blowing on your message until it turns like a light brown. Another way you could do it is to use a 60 to 100 watt light bulb and in, in a lamp, take off the shade and just put your, of course, you're going to need some adult supervision doing this so you won't catch anything on fire. So put the lamp up under the light bulb up under your message and just keep going back and forth until your message comes to fruition. The last way you can do it is you can actually just put it on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven on low 200 to 250 to 300 degrees and let it stay in there for 10 to 15 minutes. And I've done that already with my message that I wrote earlier and I wanted to show you how it comes out. And this is my message, and it says, I miss you, and I miss all of you at the library. I want to thank you for looking at my programs virtually, and I hope to see you soon. Maybe you can have fun being a secret agent with some of your friends at home. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.